Hi everyone, this is Yulia and welcome back to my studio. In today's video I'm going to show you how I create sensual silhouette images for my boudoir and nude photography and also for videography. Today I'm gonna be my own model, so let's get started! Tip number one, lighting. To create a silhouette image, you have to position your light behind your subject, uh, facing your backdrop, to blow out your backdrop, uh, making it super bright and separating your subject from the backdrop, keeping it in dark. And to keep your subject in dark, you have to increase your aperture. And that's what we're doing now. So now I am in a silhouette. Keep in mind that you also have to shape your light. Uh, here what I'm using is my favorite continuous light, Stella Pro by Light and Motion. And as you can see, uh, the light is spilled all over the backdrop and how I'm gonna shape it with this 50 degree optic. So let me put the optic on and see that now uh, my light is more directional and it's in the shape of circle. That's what you're gonna see in all those James Bond movies with uh, silhouette images shaped in a circle. But in today's video, I'm actually going to use uh, Ellen Chrome light motif indirect modif modifier and I'm gonna shape um, my silhouette image in a, an octabox to make my images look different. Tip number two, framing your subject. No matter what your frame is, a close-up shot, a medium shot, or a full body shot, you have to frame your subject into your light. For example, I wanna do a full body shot and I wanna frame it in my octobox. Since my octobox is a little bit above the ground, I have to lift my body a little bit up uh, to frame it in the light of octobox, in the shape of octobox. And to do that, uh, I'm gonna use my posing tubes. And now my body is completely framed into the light. Now let's talk about posing, but before we do that, um, watch this quick video. Stuck in the middle of coming inside and walking out. Just stay for a little. You say as you close the door behind me. While posing for silhouettes, we are highlighting beautiful shape and curves of our subject. We have to uh, create negative space by um, moving our subject's arms and legs away from, um, from the body, um, creating beautiful triangles to achieve flattering silhouette pose. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you one sitting pose and one standing. So the sitting pose that I'm going to go with is sitting sideways. Uh, I'm separating my legs a little bit. Uh, my toes are pointy. That will make my legs look longer and more elegant. I'm creating these two triangles. I'm positioning my arm right here on the lower back creating another triangle or you can go with this way that's also really beautiful and another arm is going uh, to touching your hair slightly with the tip of your fingers and you have to look straight showing the beautiful shape of your neck just like that then you inhale hold it take a shot 
and relax. So that would be my pose number one. What you don't want to do while shooting for silhouette is keeping all body parts together. Let's say if we put our legs together like this, it's still pretty, but look how it changed the entire pose when we separate them. And the same with your arms. So if we keep them together, yes, um, it's, it's a silhouette, it's, it's pretty. But as soon as I separate, there is a beautiful form, beautiful shape, and it makes my uh, image even more flattering. Now I'm gonna show you my standing pose. And uh, in standing position, please keep in mind that you have to keep, uh, we have to highlight beautiful uh, curves of your subject's body. And let me show it to you really quickly. So not necessarily keep your legs away or apart. Uh, I would probably even cross them a little bit and I would push my hip away just to create this beautiful curve and I would bend my arm, bend my wrist. Uh, you can position your arm over here or up here. I would go it with this position and I would even give my subject um, something to hold, like a cigarette, a glass of wine, a rope, whatever you want to go with to create a story with your image. Also keep in mind that uh, if you want to show the, your subject's chin, always ask to uh, turn her head uh, right or left, and this way you can show beautiful neckline and beautiful line of uh, your subject's chin. And that's pretty much it for the posing. Uh, by the way, I added diffuser just to keep my image clean, eliminate all unnecessary shadows, um, and to make my photo even more beautiful. Tip number four is to keep your model's hair up, especially if your uh, model has long hair and her hair is falling down on her shoulders. That may create a bulky effect in your silhouette images. So uh, you can ask her to keep it up just to highlight a beautiful neckline. By the way, a neck is one of the most beautiful body parts uh, of women's body. And if your model has short hair like I do, uh, you can keep it down or ask to keep it, kind of hold it behind her ears, or again, you can hold it up. Tip number five. Adding some interesting elements to your boudoir silhouette photography. I don't smoke, so I use fog. I use fog to create uh, interesting effects for my boudoir photography and videography. By the way, I'm working on boudoir photography masterclass and I really, really need your help. Please check information in the description and I'll see you next time.